Hey, what's up guys? That's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 4 of Team of the Year Fatal. And in today's episode, we are once again going to be playing two games. But first of all, I'm going to be showing you guys the pairs from the previous episode, which you guys were able to choose from. And uh, we have pair 1 in Ramos and Modric and pair 2 in Ramos and Matuidi. And most of you decided to go with pair 1, so that means we're going to be adding the two players from Real Madrid into the side. And this is what the team looks like right now. A uh, really good midfield and attack, but the defense is kind of lacking, so that is definitely something we're going to try to upgrade in today's episode if we of course have enough coins so uh, going will be the first game we go up against the Premier League side but also some players from the French League mostly some squad building uh, challenge players and uh, we started things off after two minutes already you can see from the gameplay there was a bit of lag and the whole day I was trying to to play basically play FIFA it was just so laggy so it was kind of Frustrating at times to play, but um, that's what happens as probably most of you do know as well whilst playing FIFA. Uh, we got a big chance here though, with Lacazette, a Rabona shot, which wasn't really my attention, but I was holding the LT button and uh, therefore he went with the Rabona shot. Uh, the first few minutes we did get some chances here and there. And my opponent managed to go in the attack as well here, plays it on through to Lukaku, plays it on through to Niang, who was completely free. But the shot was really bad. I believe it was on his weak foot. So uh, we got very lucky there. Then uh, pretty much on the counter of that. We managed to go through here with Lacazette on the right hand side. We cut in there with the burpee spin. I want to pass it off to I think Nzonzi. Then we managed to get it back. Then from the remount it is actually Griezmann with the header. But a really good save from his goalkeeper. So uh, we picked up another corner. Modric here crossed it in to his teammate Sergio Ramos who heads it in. And we do make it 1-0 just before half time. The first 30k for us in this game. And uh, you can see from the halftime stats, we had most of the chances. My opponent had a lot of possession though. He uh, decided to kind of play on possession most of the time, but didn't really create that much, which you can see as well from the stats. Then into the second half we go. It pretty much went the exact same way. Although we didn't really create that many chances anymore, we still uh, did create a few. But um, that's also how the game ended up because you can see as well my opponent didn't really create that much anymore as well. Even though he had most of the possession. But um, we ended up winning 1-0. A uh, decent game although the connection wasn't that amazing. We uh, we still managed to win and get 30k after one game. So um, yeah, moving on into the second game of the episode. We came up against the full Irish side and uh, I really want to score more goals in order to get more coins obviously. And uh, we start off straight away already with uh, Griezmann here from kickoff with some great skill moves. Uh, nice one-two passing between the two st French strikers, Lacazette and Griezmann. Griezmann goes through with a finesse shot, puts it wide. Really would have liked to see that one go in because it would have been a nice goal. And of course also the perfect start to, uh, to the second game. Then we move on here, 14th minute. Lacazette goes through, I decide to pass it off to Modric. A bit sweaty, but um, I want to get a goal at least to start off the game. And it is uh, also the new league player who also scored just like Ramos did in the first game. So uh, the first uh, 30k for this game we picked up. The 23rd minute, some nice stuff there from Griezmann. Goes through. He doesn't get attacked by the defenders and he makes it 2-0 as well. Picks up another 30k and uh, it went really well actually in the first half. You can see as well a lot of possession for us. Also chances wise we're completely dominating and... Um, yeah, we pretty much would end up doing the exact same thing in the second half. And something I noticed, especially in the second half, was that his defensive line was up forward a lot. And it made us create more and more chances. We do make it 3-0 here with Lacazette from the rebound. It is uh, a bit of a bit of an easy goal there from him. Uh, which he managed to score from. We uh, are, I think, 90k right now. Then we move on here with Iniesta. Obviously, want to get a goal with him too. We we're very, very close. After a nice chip shot, we just went over the bar. We uh, we couldn't score, unfortunately. It was a decent run. Then 60th minute, Modric there on the left-hand side. I wanted to go with a rainbow flick, which I completely failed at. But at the same time, we managed to pick up a penalty from it. So, I don't know. It wasn't my intention, obviously, to fail it. But, um, yeah, we uh, picked up a penalty, a cheap one. And uh, it is Iniesta to make it 4-0 and bring the coin total to 140k, which is uh, a lot of coins already. We still have quite a few minutes left. In the 90th minute, it is uh, the striker, the French striker, Griezmann, who picks up his second goal of the game and brings the coin total to 170k for this game. And uh, that's how the game ended. We probably could have scored a few more goals because we get we had so many shots, on uh, not on target, but just in general. You can see from the stats, 20 in total. But uh, scoring five goals in this game is, I think, uh, a decent amount of coins we were able to spend on uh, on the next two players because uh, we have uh, 200k to spend uh, for the next episode. And uh, I was thinking, should I go with Legends? But then I saw the options, like most of the players just went over 200k, so I couldn't afford them, unfortunately. So in the end, I just decided to go with regular players, which don't really go for that much. But um, from my experience anyway, they're amazing. We have Pepe and Jordi Alba from Barcelona and Real Madrid from the La Liga, of course. And then we also 
also have uh, two players from a different league, which is the Premier League, in uh, Koscielny and Bellerin. I would have loved to go with the uh, squad building challenge version of Bellerin because we were able to get him. Unfortunately, though, I don't have him in my club and I can't get him anymore. I was thinking of going with the uh, screaming version of uh, Bellerin, but I felt it wasn't worth the, uh, the 90k extra. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below which pair I should go with, pair 1 or pair 2. As always, I will leave uh, two comments in the comment section down below which you can vote on. That is the way we're going to be deciding it for the next episode, which will be up tomorrow for those that are wondering. But anyway, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye! -bye.